Hi there, welcome to my tutorial on using my ruler worksheet. Here we have a full size worksheet. It's got various lines on it with one example shown there. We're going to do some close up work. I have here a standard um, imperial inch measurement ruler. It's 12 inches long. As you'll see, I've got the, the whole ruler right here. And um, I'm going to use it on my piece of paper. This worksheet is available on my website. There's a link in the description, and there should be one popping up on your window now. So here we go. So using a uh, ruler, we have all these measurements starting from, well, zero. And then we've got one inch and two inch and three inch and so on. And in the middle, we have a lot of small lines that we're about to deal with. So this measurement here is five and a half inches long, according to the key that I've left here. But if we look at the measurement itself, we start from zero and we go out to five. So here we have between the five and the six, we have the longest line here, which represents five and a half inches. So the inches are broken up into uh, inches. And then we have the half inch there and a half inch here and a half inch over there. We also have quarter lines. There are four quarters to an inch. So we have one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and four quarters. And we also have eighths. So we have four and one eighth. That would be two eighths. There's three, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seventh eighths, and eight eighths. So there are the all there are. In between those, the tiniest line are sixteenths. So we have four and one sixteenth, or four and two sixteenth, which is also one eighth, three sixteenth, four sixteenth, which is also a quarter, five, six, three eighths, seven, eight sixteenths, which is a half, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, which is three quarters. 13, 14, 15, 16 sixteenths, which is the full inch. So we've got from zero to five and then a half inch. So that's why it says five and a half inches. Let's take this and measure the next line that doesn't have a measurement written on it. So we go from zero, one, two, three, and it ends up on this line here, which is the quarter marks. See the half inch is the longest between the inches. The quarter marks are the second longest, so that's how I can quickly tell that it's a quarter mark. And it's one quarter, two quarters, which is also half an inch, three quarters. So we would write that down over here, three and three quarters of an inch. Okay, and for good measure, I like drawing lines that show me how long the line is uh, from my drafting days. So I would measure like that and like that. Now, whether you're going to do this on your worksheets, it depends on how detailed you're going to get and the purpose that you're making your worksheets happen for yourself. Okay, let's pick another one. Let's pick this one down here. So this one, we start at one or at zero, one inch, two inch, two and a quarter, two and a half, and then we've got two small lines, these are sixteenths, or one slightly longer one, that's an eighth. So two and, two and a half plus an eighth. Well, we know we have four eighths in a half, so this must be five eighths. So this is two inches, well, two and five eighths inches. There we go. Okay. Measuring a box. So now this box here, we've got one inch, a quarter, three eighths. So this would be seven sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixteenths. But if you can see, it's ever so slightly longer than seven sixteenths mark. So the, here we have 30 seconds. They're tiny. So to measure this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the two inch mark there, I'm gonna go backwards. Watch this, from two to one, it's one. And then we have these tiny lines here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15 30 seconds. So that's one and 15 30 seconds. Right here. So it's one and 15 30 seconds inch inches. Right? And that's with these tiniest, tiniest lines here. And this is a pretty detailed ruler. My next video, I'm going to work on the other side and work with these millimeters on the next worksheet that's in millimeters. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.